And the debate is raging tonight. The question whether the White House should release photos of a dead Osama bin Laden. The president says no, he's not going to do it. But tonight some prominent Republicans are calling that decision a big mistake. It is important for us to make sure that gr very graphic photos of somebody who was shot in the head uh, are not floating around uh, as uh, an incitement to additional violence as a propaganda tool. The president said we don't trot out this stuff as trophies. So even though they reportedly exist, no photo showing bin Laden dead with a bullet to the head will be officially released by the White House. It's not necessary to do so. I think there's ample proof that this was Osama bin Laden. That's one prominent Republican's point of view. However, possible 2012 Republican presidential candidate Sarah Palin and influential Republican Senator Lindsey Graham called Obama's decision a mistake. Palin suggesting the president was, quote, pussyfooting around. A new CNN poll shows more than half of Americans want the photos released. Remember, see something, say something. Meantime, security around the city remains ramped up, especially at key transportation hubs and other iconic locations like those highlighted on this map, over concerns of a retaliatory attack in the aftermath of bin Laden's sudden demise. However, with no specific or credible threats against the city, the mayor again is urging New Yorkers to go about their business as usual. I feel as safe today as I do did last week. I think all New Yorkers should. As for bin Laden, new information coming to light about what U.S. forces found. 500 euros, about 745 U.S. dollars, were sewn into his clothes, along with two mysterious phone numbers, adding to a treasure trove of other evidence found in bin Laden's lair. Also, this uh, information tonight, new. Americans who are living abroad or traveling abroad have been warned to stay on alert and avoid any large public gatherings or demonstrations. Reporting live tonight from Times Square, I'm Peter Thorne, PIX11 News right now. Let's get over to Lolita.